So let's read the question. The odometer of a car reads 57,321.0 km when the clock shows the time 8.30 am. What is the distance moved by the car if at 8.50 am the odometer reading has changed to 57,336 km. Also, calculate the speed of the car in kilometers per minute during this time and express the speed in kilometers per hour. So guys, what is the concept over here? What is odometer of a car? It basically shows us what is the distance covered by the car. Is this clear? So when we say the odometer reading is so much, that means up till now, from the time the car was made till now, the car has traveled a distance of so much. Is this clear? So what we have to do in this question is, first we have to find the distance traveled by the car. So how do we find the distance traveled by the car? Final reading of the odometer minus initial reading. That is how you find the distance covered. Next, we have to also find the speed for that time is given to us. So we'll subtract the two time, get the time. Distance by time will give us speed. So that is what we have to do in this question. So let's begin. So begin by writing what is given to you. We are given the initial reading of the odometer. So write down over here, initial odometer reading This is given to us as 57,321.0 kilometers. Next, what is the final reading? This over here. So final odometer reading. Is equal to 57,336 kilometers. Now, how do we find the distance traveled? Very simple guys. It is this reading minus this reading. That is what the distance covered is, right? So I'll write down over here, that is distance covered is equal to final reading minus initial reading. So I'll write down over here, final reading of the odometer minus initial reading of odometer. So let's plug in the values. What is the final reading? It is 57,336.0 kilometers minus initial reading. That is 57,321.0 kilometers. So we get this as 15 kilometers. That means the distance traveled by the car is 15 kilometers. Is this clear? So whenever you get the odometer reading question, this is how you do it. Final reading minus initial reading will give you the distance covered. So the first part is, what is the distance moved by the car? It is 15 kilometers. Is this clear? Now the next part is, calculate the speed of the car. For speed, we need both distance and time. So let's calculate time taken. So see, what was the initial time? Initial time was 8.30 am and the final time was 8.50 am. So again, we'll write down over here, initial time reading. This is given to us as 8.30 am. So the car began at 8.30 am and what is the final reading of time? It is 8.50 am. So final time reading is equal to 8.50 am. So see guys, what is the time that passed? So that is time taken is equal to again final reading minus initial reading. So from 8.30 am to 8.50 am, how much time did it take? 20 minutes, right? So time taken is equal to 20 minutes. I repeat guys, morning 8.30 to morning 8.50. So hour is the same. How many minutes have elapsed? 20 minutes. So time taken is 20 minutes. So we have the distance, we have the time. Now we can easily get the speed. So I'll write down the formula over here. That is speed is equal to distance upon time. Now, we first want the speed in kilometers per minute. That means take distance in kilometers, time in minutes. So A part, speed is equal to distance. What is the distance covered guys? 15 kilometers. Now, because I want the speed in kilometers per minute, time taken in minutes, that is 20 minutes. So solve this three and four. So we get speed over here as three by four. That is 0 0.75 kilometers per minute. I repeat, what is the speed? It is three by four kilometers per minute. So what is three by four as a decimal? 
जीरो पॉइंट सेवन फाइव किलोमीटर पर मिनट इज दिस क्लियर नेक्स्ट बी पार्ट एक्सप्रेस द स्पीड इन किलोमीटर पर आवर दैट मीन्स टेक डिस्टेंस इन किलोमीटर टाइम इन आवर्स सो बी पार्ट स्पीड इज इक्वल टू डिस्टेंस विच इज अगेन फिफ्टीन किलोमीटर नाउ वी वॉन्ट द टाइम इन आवर्स वी आर गिवन टाइम इन मिनट्स सो कन्वर्ट दिस टू आवर्स हाउ डू वी कन्वर्ट टू आवर्स डिवाइड बाई सिक्सटी सो ट्वेंटी बाई सिक्सटी दैट इज वन थर्ड सी ऑफ एन आवर सो लाइट डाउन अपॉन वन बाई थ्री ऑफ एन आवर बी वेरी केयरफुल गाइज बिकॉज आई वॉन्ट द स्पीड इन किलोमीटर पर आवर दे फोर डिस्टेंस इन किलोमीटर टाइम इन आवर्स हियर वी वॉन्ट द स्पीड इन किलोमीटर पर मिनट हैं डिस्टेंस इन किलोमीटर टाइम इन मिनट सो लेट सॉल्व दिस सो वी गेट दिस एज फिफ्टीन इन टू थ्री बाई वन किलोमीटर पर आवर दैट इज फोर्टी फाइव किलोमीटर्स पर आवर सो दिस ओवर हेयर द आंसर so this is how you solve this question i repeat guys what odometer does is it tells the total distance traveled by the car so whenever you have to find the distance traveled based on odometer reading it is final reading minus initial reading so this minus this will give us the distance covered so the distance covered by the car is 15 km next what is the time taken initial time reading 8:30 am final time reading 8:50 am so what is the difference between these two intervals 8:50 minus 8:30 that is 20 minutes so time taken is 20 minutes so what is speed distance divided by time now depends you want speed in which unit first the question asks the speed in kilometer per minute so i took distance in kilometers and time in minutes we got the answer as 0.75 kilometer per minute next the question asks me the speed in kilometer per hour that means take distance in kilometers and time in hours now my time was in minutes so convert it to hours how do we convert divide by 60 So twenty minutes is one third of an hour. Put it over here. We get forty-five kilometers per hour. Is this clear? So this is how you solve such type of questions.